at Glynn, we believe that helping our students become great learners is one of the most important things that we can do here. We think great learners have three really important qualities. Firstly, a great learner is self-regulating. This means that you are able to set your own work, to know what works for you, to be able to work in ways that are really, really effective, and to be able to do so without having to be directed by your parents or your teachers. Secondly, a great learner is exam ready and ready for all the challenges that school presents. This means that you don't cram, you don't do ineffective uh, types of revision, you give yourself a lot of time and this will help really reduce the stress that sometimes exams and preparation for assessments can bring. And thirdly, much more important to us than exam preparation um, is that great learners have a really deep knowledge of their subject and we believe that from this deep knowledge you will really love the subjects that you are learning and that that goes beyond school, beyond exams and we hope you you will develop a real lifelong love of learning and the subjects that we teach. So why do we think it's so important that we help you become a great learner? Well this is because to be a really successful learner we think you need to have two things. We think you have to have really fluent knowledge. This means knowing knowledge really really well. Um, this means that you're going to have to have knowledge from across different years, from different topics, across different subjects. There's an awful lot of it and that presents us with some real challenges that we need to deal with effectively. Second of all, you are going to have to pull in that knowledge from across many different topics in different years. Therefore, we need to make sure that that knowledge that you have is really long lasting. And so working on remembering something, not just tomorrow, next week, but also for next year is really important to becoming a great learner. So you need to have fluent knowledge. It needs to be long lasting, but you also need to have flexible knowledge. This means that Two things really, that you need to be able to use that knowledge in stressful situations, unexpected situations, and be able to pull it in and apply it in new and unexpected ways, which requires us to use our knowledge flexibly. But again, it goes beyond exams. Having flexible knowledge allows us to do some of the really beautiful things with our subjects, some of the really interesting, critical thinking, problem solving, um, the really high level stuff that you're going to be doing in your subjects requires us to have that really flexible knowledge. So why is this hard? Um, we need to explain the way that we learn and something about our memory to understand why having fluent and flexible knowledge can be really difficult. Our memories are divided into two sections. Our working memory, you might have heard this referred to as short-term memory in the past, but we now call it working memory. This is because it's where we do all of our working, our thinking, our conscious thought. We also have long-term memory, which is where we store all of our long-term knowledge. It's important to realize the distinction between these two parts of our memory because they have really different functions. Our working memory is unfortunately very limited. We don't exactly know how many, but most people estimate that a we, any person can handle around three to five, possibly kind of four or five um, chunks or, or items at any one time in our working memory. If we exceed this, our capacity to think and solve problems and, and take on new knowledge is simply overloaded and we can't think or function. I'm sure we've all felt like that in the past. However, our long-term memory is, as far as we know, unlimited in its capacity to store and categorize information for us. Therefore, when we are learning, it's absolutely critical that we are focusing on how we are going to get the knowledge from our working into our long-term memory and critically back out again. So really, in order to become a great learner, it's crucial that you understand that learning is something that happens in our long-term memory. It doesn't happen overnight. It is a slow process, it's quite hard, and we need to practice lots and lots over time to get there. This is the key to being a great learner. The idea that practice makes perfect is only half of it. Practice makes permanent, and that is what we're looking for, not just because it prepares you for exams, but because it is going to be with you for life.